Well, hello and welcome today, family. We're so glad you just dropped into our at-home kitchen. Um, I don't know if everybody knows, but a few weeks ago, I lost my brother, Ron, who had passed away. He'd been sick for a little while. And I just am saying that today to tell you that all of you that have sent sympathy cards, um, and it, I mean, a lot of sympathy cards, I want you to know that I really, really, really appreciated that. And, you know, you don't realize the comfort they bring until you receive them at a time when you're going through a struggle. And our family appreciates your prayers and your thoughts and the cards that were sent that we don't take that lightly. I thank you very, very much. You're a wonderful family, and I appreciate it. And I just wanted to show you, I just grabbed this little picture because this kind of shows Ron with one of his grandkids. This is the kind of a grandfather he was. He was able to take an early retirement at 54 from federal banking. And, um, and so for his next 18 years in retirement, he was able to do all the things grandfathers love to do, travel with the kids, go to all their games, take them golfing, go on vacations together, anything they wanted to do. Let's go see if Pappy wants to go. And he had six grandchildren, and they all loved him dearly. And he was a great guy, and I miss him dearly. But I just wanted to thank you that, uh, for all that you're concerned and you're caring for our family during that time and your sentiments and the kind thoughts. And those of you that came to the funeral home, I really appreciate it. And I want to say thank you from my family and from Paul and me. We really appreciate that so much. So today, we know he's in heaven with the Lord. We know that he's rejoicing with those that have gone on before. But today, we're going to go ahead and make some, some uh, quick and easy meal in a crock pot. You know, the more I'm using it, the more I like it because you put that stuff in there in the morning, forget about it, come home, or later in the day, just open up that, that lid and everything's ready to go. Put a salad with it or some vegetables. You've got supper, and I'm liking that. That's what we're going to do today. Patty's going to make us an incredible dessert called a banana cobbler. Mm, banana bread cobbler. Can't wait for that. So stay with us. We'll take our hint. It's an interesting one, so... Be sure to listen to it, and when we come back, we'll get started with our crock pot meal for today. Here's today's at-home hint. Save leftover slices of bread, rolls, biscuits, and cinnamon rolls, and put in Ziploc bags and place in your freezer. Bring them out and use them when making stuffing, bread puddings, homemade bread crumbs, and crumb toppings for your casseroles. Economical, delicious, and convenient. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, Patty, here we are again making a crock pot dinner. I love crock pot dinners. Oh, they're awesome. They're amazing. Yeah, they are. We're going to be showing you some from time to time. And you're going to do a banana bread cobbler. And um, what are you going to do to get started? Um, start with a streusel topping. That's the topping that goes on the cobbler on after, the okay. Cobbler, yes. And all you do is mix together a three-quarter cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Okay. And a half cup of self-rising flour. Self-rising. Don't forget that because it's not going to work well if you use regular flour. So you don't want to do that. All right. And then we put our butter in it, which is about half a cup. Yeah, half a cup of softened butter. And you make a crumb topping with it. So you just, you don't want that to be smooth. No, you want it crumbly. Crumbly, yeah. This is going to be crumbly. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be crumbly because it looks like the butter is still a little. Yeah, uh, 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 this will be good. You can even get in there with your hands if you need to because uh -huh. it works well. You actually want that like little morsels because that's what that crumb topping right. is. It's good that way. You do amazing things with a fork. <laughs> I know, you're good. You're good. This is good. Well, what I'm doing here while she's crumbling is uh, not, ne not necessarily crumbling, but um, <laughs> here, here's, the, here's the whole deal with this crock pot. It's so simple, it's embarrassing. You have your crock pot, three pound of potatoes. These are little red ones, and we quartered them. You want them about this size, cut them in half, cut them in half. And you rinse them off with water, throw them in the bottom of the crock pot. Leave a little moisture on there, that's okay. There you go. Now you have one pound ring of smoked sausage, beef, whatever kind you like, garlic, whatever. That goes in next. And you cut it in chunks like that. That's fine. Kind of distribute it all around. I need some cream cheese here. 
think we still have that in the fridge. Um, oh, thanks, Patty. There we go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You want to keep this kind of cold because we're going to cut this. Because you want to soft on the mask, huh? Exactly. That you don't want. So we just cut this up. Just like that. How are you doing over there? I'm doing good. Is it crumbling? Yeah, it's starting to crumble. The brown sugar was a little bit hard in spots. So that's you what have I'm to trying watch. to break up yeah. the brown sugar a little bit. All we're doing here is just dropping this cream cheese all over the top of our potatoes and our meat. Did you ever have a banana bread cobbler like that? No, but I love cobbler and I love banana bread. So, so what's not to like, huh? Exactly. This is going to be one wonderful dessert. Yeah. And anything we're going to serve it with ice cream, too. Oh, yeah. A vanilla ice cream on top. Oh, yeah. And anything with a streusel topping, I'm exactly. in. Exactly. Okay? This is so simple. I'm telling you, you don't even salt and pepper because what we're going to put on is going to take care of the seasoning, so you don't even have to worry about that. I mean, if you left a message for your kids to put this together, they could. If you had everything ready to go, they could do this. It would be no big deal. Okay? No. That's done. That's what's nice. Sometimes if you're going to work and you don't have a lot of time, you can throw that together throw the, in the ten morning. Ten minutes, you got it together. Yep. Yeah, no problem at all. Let me get rid of some of okay, this Okay, and stuff. I'm getting ready to throw my cup of uncooked regular oats and a half cup of chopped pecans in for pecans. the Pecans, okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Now, take my crock pot. This is a can of cream of celery. Cream of celery soup. And all you do is just take this and you spread it on the top, just like that. This is so simple, so simple and so easy. And then I just kind of like spread it around so it gets distributed all around in the crock pot, okay? Because this is gonna make a wonderful gravy, yummy. Get it out of here, there we go. It's amazing how much moisture when you cook with a crock pot, adds to it. Do you think you're going to need to add something? Well, it doesn't evaporate, yeah, and especially potatoes. Because oh, yeah. I'm thinking, how's that going to cook the potatoes? Oh, it does. Trust me, it does. Beautiful. You're going to love it. Okay. This will serve probably four to six people. Okay. That's it for that. And then oh. you're going to take one envelope of ranch's dressing. The, the just right out of the bag. Just like this and you sprinkle it just on the top. Now you're gonna put this on high for about six hours, okay? If you're gonna be gone for eight hours, I'd do it on low. But you wanna mix it as soon as you get in the house to make sure that everything is incorporated. Put the lid on, put it in the crock pot. Want me to put it in for you? Would you? That sure. would be nice. Thank you. And you're welcome. That's all. Is that simple or what? It's ridiculously simple, but that's what we like. We like it easy like that. Now, over here, which I thought would be nice to make with that, we're going to make some homemade applesauce. We have about three pounds. Let me see here. Get that flame going here. Well, let me put my water in here while I'm doing my... I have three-fourths of a cup of water just in the bottom, we've chopped up three pound. I use gala apples, but you really can use any kind you want, okay? And yeah, there we got the flame now. Do you have one that you like the best, or? I like galas because I think they cook up nice, okay. and they're good eating apples. So you can either cook with them or just eat with them, either right. way. Okay, and so we're gonna let this come up to a boil. They're just chopped up apples. You know, as simple as this is to make, why would you ever buy exactly. a, a jar or a can? And it's it's so, so easy. And it's so good. I and know apple when I stay. Make it, yeah. My kids go crazy over it. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to add some seasoning, but I'm not going to add my sugar. I'm going to add about an eighth of a teaspoon. This is cinnamon. If you like it, fine. If you don't, don't add it. Okay? And then I have ground cloves. Go lightly with this. This is really only about an eighth. That's about all I'm going to do in there because cloves are potent. Okay? And then we're just going to let that baby go. 
and it's going to cook down, and then we're going to mash it to the consistency that we like. Well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, more of At Home with our Crock-Pot dinner and great dessert. We'll be right back. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home, and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Okay, Patty, what are you doing over there, lady? I'm finding you a knife. We're back. The family's back in the kitchen. And Found you a you bunch need of knives. To, let me see what your uh, spruce yeah. topping looks like. Look how beautiful. Looks Doesn't nice. that look good? Very nice. And I now you're you... going to make the actual cobbler. All right. And I got Tell you a variety of knives, too. Wow, you sure did. Okay, you make your pick. Okay. Okay, and the cobbler is real simple. You whisk together flour, which okay. is a cup of the self-rising. So always use the self-rising. Please remember that. And then you put in a cup of sugar. Sugar. And a cup of milk. That's all? Yeah, we got to whisk it. Okay. With a handy little whisk here. I like whisking. Sometimes it's a pain using a mixer all the time. <laughs> when you can hand hold something right. that's Wow, well, we got a lot of beans here to clean. Oh, yeah. A lot There's of beans. There's a ton of beans. Okay. I love green beans. I do, too. I just think this would be a nice combination to go along with the crock pot because there's not a vegetable in there. You know, there's meat and potatoes and a gravy, but I like to have a vegetable to go with them. So here's what I do when I'm doing green beans and I got a lot to do. I line them up, chop the ends off, get rid of them, and then cut the beans or snap them. So that's what we're doing here. Okay. I got my batter. I just added my butter. Okay, so that's the batter. a half cup of melted for, butter, yeah. and that's, that's the batter. Okay. And all you do with this is really simple. It's amazing. As I pour it into this, I love these easy recipes. <laughs> I really do. But when that's you're what busy, At Home's all about, Patty. We don't do complicated. If no. it's got a ton of, of uh, ingredients or unusual things that nobody even knows what... what What's the sense? Who does it? Yeah, exactly. We I'm don't do that. Spatula. Okay. And I'm just clean, checking my beans, and I'm going to cut those tips off. And all I'm doing is pouring this in here. All right. Now that's going to come up nice and thick because remember that's self-rising flour. So that's going to come up nice and uh, high, hopefully. And uh, I like that, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You know, Possibly. sometimes, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And you want it to. So make sure that your self-rising you flour self is pretty fresh. self-rising flour, is there something you can use well, with it? Yeah, you know, you can look in a cookbook. It'll give you a combination of what to add to mm -hmm. regular flour. But I figure if they're asking for self-rising, there's a reason, use. and that's what we should use. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. And then all I do is slice up some bananas. Okay. And put them on top, and then sprinkle it with your um, streusel Oh, you do topping. the bananas first. Okay, cool. Laurie, do you think you could come and help us with these? Laurie's are maybe just cut off some of these because we got a lot to do here. Take some of these and I'll take some. If you do some back there, you can take this whole. There you go, girl. I'll Love cut these. these. You take this one? Thank you. Laurie helps us out. We're in a pinch because there's a lot to do here. I didn't realize we had this many beans, but this is a, lot a of couple beans. pounds. Yeah. But you know what? I love beans and they cook down and... Um, we like to make enough so everybody can enjoy. And I love these even, you know, like the next day, I like the green beans because you can put them in a little bit of butter in a skillet, warm them up. Oh, they're delicious. So, again, we're going to cut off the tips and just make them about one inch cuts. And then we'll drop them in there. I can hear those apples are yeah. really cooking over there. I loved it. I love the smell of apples in the house. Oh, yeah. I love this, the taste of apples any time of the year. It doesn't have to be fall for me. I'll fall for them any time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, they just, I don't know, it gives it that a, warm, homey feeling. Yeah, and it's, a, it's good for you. They're good for you. And cinnamon's supposed to be super good for you. Very good. I've seen good. something on TV about it. Very, very good. So when I'm eating those cinnamon rolls, I don't feel so <laughs> guilty. <laughs> I feel like you're doing something I'm for, I'm this for health food. Yes, this is medically good. Not yeah, so, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> I can no. pretend. You know, I think moderation is the key in everything. I yeah, feel like I that's... Yeah, I think you're right, too. 
that's what uh, God expects us to. I think that's the key to living a good Christian life is the moderation. Mm -hmm. And when and, you start um, admitting everything, then you yeah. start craving it. Oh, yeah. And you can't, you know, life is too short to deny yourself of everything unless you absolutely have to. If you're under doctor's care, then right. that's what you need to listen to. Right. So we'll have to keep that in mind. But I'll tell you what, I've never spent so much time cutting these green beans as I am today. <laughs> Sorry to inflict this on you because you, you all know how to cut green beans. I'm sure this is exciting, riveting television for you. <laughs> but it's okay. We got to do it. We got to do it. Right. We were busy doing other things beforehand. I said, oh, we'll just do them. My call. We'll do them on the air and let everybody just see how easy it is. Yeah, well, we didn't figure That's it would take the whole program. Time consuming. But it is time consuming, but the finished result is something you'll be glad you did. Right, exactly. Okay. These bananas are going on nice. Yeah, and you would want to use pretty ripe bananas. In other words, bananas that are not real green because those green bananas will have a green taste mm -hmm. when you bake them. Now let me just walk you through what we're going to do with these green beans if we ever get them all cleaned. We're putting them into, we have a nice big skillet and we have some olive oil. We're going to drop that in there. And the beans that we already have cleaned, we've rinsed them off. Thank you. And we're going to just drop those in. And you want a little bit of water to be left on the bean. Leave some water on the bean because that's what's going to help to steam it. Okay, thanks, Lori. Lori's got some more done. Good. Okay. And then we're going to add some onion. This is what I like. Just put it all in there at one time. Okay. And let's see. Half a pound of sliced mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nothing yeah. Nothing like fresh mushrooms. Tell me. That all goes in there at one time. Okay, I'm getting ready to pop this in the oven. Okay. How long does that go and what temp? About 40 minutes, 375. 375 for 40 minutes. And you want your oven to be good and preheated. Yeah, That's necessary. Hot. Okay. Just throwing salt and pepper on these vegetables. And then what you're going to do... You're going to put this on, and then you're putting the lid on, and you're timing it for 15 minutes, and you don't look at it. You don't do anything except every once in a while. You just kind of shuffle the pan to make sure nothing's sticking. You want to use a, a nonstick skillet when you do that. And when we come back, these are already cooking down really nice. You can see when they get so mushy and soft that they're falling apart, we're going to add about 3 fourths of a cup of sugar. And then we're going to take our potato masher, and we're just going to mash them up to the consistency. Some people like to put it in their food processor or in the blender or whatever to make it. I kind of like mine chunky. And adjust your seasoning. If you want more cinnamon, put it in then or whatever. So you know what? We're pretty much there with this meal. When we come back, we'll show you everything we've made today. Here's how you can get all the recipes and even more. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right, no subscriptions. They're available online at no cost and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. We had a good time making our goodies today. We have a crock pot dinner right there in the front. Look at that, potatoes and Chunks of uh, smoked sausage oh, and a cream amazing. sauce. That's awesome and smells incredible. Next to it, we have our green beans with mushrooms. Now, there's a little PS to the recipe if you already have it. You want to add a couple of tablespoons of seasoned breadcrumbs and a fourth of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese to that recipe after the 15 minutes. Just mix it in. That just like tightens it up. Oh, they're wonderful. And then next to that, is what you made, Patty. Yeah, banana bread cobbler. Banana bread cobbler, and that has that streusel topping mm -hmm. on top with oatmeal and butter and flour. And nuts. And nuts. That's mm -hmm. going to be awesome. That's going to get served with, it's a little hot, just took it out of the oven, it's going to get served with some vanilla ice cream. And then we just did, the, here's our applesauce. Doesn't this look good? Oh, I yeah. like chunky applesauce, and that's what we have here. But you can see the consistency. If you like it thinner than that, 
pop it in your food processor or the blender and make it as smooth as you like. This can also be baby food. If you've got a little one in your house and you need stuff, make some homemade baby food for them. They love applesauce and it's good for them. And you know what, family, you're good for us. We're always so glad when you come by. It's always a treat when you drop in the kitchen. We're so thankful that God has added you to our family and you watch faithfully. Thank you that in our 20th year, we're celebrating our 20th year of at home being on the air, that you are a part of what makes it all possible. Thank you. We hope that you'll join us the next time because you know what? Without you, it wouldn't be worth making the programs. It wouldn't be worth anything. You make it all worth something. So be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you. We'll see you then. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.